Hello, welcome. We are, uh, today's a bit different. We're going to pick a car up. I'm already on the journey. Yeah, we're already on the journey to go get this car. Um, I'm, I'm meeting a recovery person at uh, 12 o'clock there. The, uh, the car's not like a, a major classic classic. It's a decent car. Uh, for what I paid for it, I can't really moan about it. It's been sat a couple of years. It's gonna be it's gonna need a bit of work. I don't even know if it starts. I haven't got a bloody clue. I just hope that it's not a complete nail. I don't even know. I haven't even asked any questions. I asked the old bird, but she couldn't tell me much. She said it's been sat there six years, but the bloke I'm dealing with says it's been sat there a year. So I don't really know. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get there, and then I will, um, I will uh, record it. So we'll see you there. So it's a beautiful day today, so yeah, as you can see. So I'll see you there shortly, peace. So I'm picking this car up now, just waiting for the people to come and um, recover it because they're lost. There's no signal that it is, absolutely rubbish. But yeah, here's the old uh, Astra. Where she is. Yes, I know before you say it, it's not a classic classic, but there's not many on the road and they're gonna go up in value. So this is exactly why I'm buying it and what I pay for it, it's quite cheap, so I'm quite happy. But that's if it starts, that is. <laughs> if it doesn't start and there's a gearbox fault or is there any other faults with it, it's gonna be like a bit of a, hmm. So I'm gonna wait till the actual recovery person comes and then we go from there, so I'll see you in a minute. Did you bring the jump knees, bro? See this? Uh, I didn't have any. Fuck. Um, you ain't got a battery with it, you're looking at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right here now, ain't you, yes, sir? So good morning, it is the day after, it is still raining, it's still wet, it's still miserable, it's still everything else, but we've got to start cleaning this. Now yesterday I uh, treated the car to a few goodies, <laughs> the obvious, the even more obvious, strawberry, uh, one pound sponge, wash and whack, a bit, up, uh, a bit optimistic there, but you know, and then the good old tyre shine, tyre dressing. Now, I spend too much money on Autoglim, so if Autoglim, if you're watching, sponsor me. <laughs> and then a bucket. So, all this is going to turn this old Astra LS into, now this is where I do the before and after, into, you ready? It's not going to be that easy, people. Come on, seriously. <laughs> Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is get some hot water and then start scrubbing it. Um, I tried cleaning it yesterday. Well, not tried try cleaning it, sorry. I got this brush here and I gave it a bit of a wipe over the green algae stuff and it just does not wanna come off. So I'm gonna have to resort to a bit more, um, I don't know, robust ways of cleaning. Jet wash. I hate jet washes.
So now I'm gonna go over the whole of the car with uh, the old sponge and a bit of uh, soap suds. So, she's smoking on the front end a bit, but that's probably just water, so here we go. She's uh, looking really well. Pop the tire up because I'm, I'm ghetto. I am proper ghetto. Do you know what I mean? I'm not one of these fancy channels that has all the fancy tools. I'm literally full on ghetto. And this is how I prefer to be. For now, this is how it goes. We've got a slowy because it's not going up any more than that, unfortunately. But at least it's up. The problem we're going to have though is is it going to fit on here because it's a big battery? Where's the old positive? There it is. Oh, it's a big battery in it. No clicky clicks, was there? Moment of truth. Keys. Stereo's on. You gonna get the car? How much battery have I got left? 5% Right then people's Moment of truth Ignition Let's try the gears Reverse So uh, the camera went off and I um, had to go and get another battery. It's now absolutely peeing it down. So the car's a bit moldy. We'll see it's sat on mold, but you know. But as you've just seen, she starts with no lights on the dash. Where's the key gone? Right, let's watch. All lights on, full clutch. I don't think the brakes work because they really straight down the um but she does drive stops but um a little bit spongy so they might need bleeding but then saying that that then they may be stuck i don't know there's no grinding though nothing first of the first 92 <laughs> Fucking hell. stereo's nicked i thought the stereo was on but it's not it's a uh the clocks and stuff but no radio i'll put a stereo in it obviously but yeah all in all pretty good to be fair how'd you turn this on it's down here i need to pull press one of these pull that there you go pull that here i've got, I've got a bit rusty you see but yeah look at that so i am so happy because okay it's not a can't even see me there can you there so it's not a proper classic like but she's getting there. A 97 year old bird used to drive this, 97 years of old. old. So we know the clutches aren't always the greatest, but 78,000 is low for this car on an R edge. But yeah, it's just a nice place to be. I just love the old Vauxhalls. Just, just steering wheels moldy as you can imagine. Seats are as moldy as you can imagine. Um, it was sat for a year apparently, but I, I, I suspect longer, but then the MOT says the 10th of December 2020, so, you know, it just looks like it's been sat a long time, but I don't know. 
All in all, not a bad car to be fair. He starts fine. Half a tank of fuel. Look at that. Half a tank of fuel. She revs nice. Oh, she's a bit sticky. Oh, she drops down nicely. Yeah, I haven't run up to temperature yet because, you know. Um, but the oil and water looks are fine to be fair so what i'm gonna do now is uh, it's getting quite late it's getting quite dark um well done because it's overcast i'll uh, start again tomorrow so yeah see you in the morning right so the astro is being sold today uh, i've done everything i can to do do to it um i've polished it loads of times so i'll give, give you a before and after so i've just done the before now this is the after but because it keeps raining and it's been snowing and it's been frosty you can't even tell the difference so basically this is it now <laughs> Um, yeah, you can't really tell because the weather's been crap. I've uh, done the inside, basically, mats have been moved and whatever else, but the inside's been done as well. You can, can't really tell much of a difference. Um, but yeah, she's ready for the new owner. You're gonna come and get it shortly. So you can't really tell a whole lot. I haven't changed the parcel shelf, it's parcel par shelf because I couldn't find one uh, to get here in time. But yeah, basically, She's uh, finished. Badge just come up, but I'll glue that back on. Um, but yeah. Um, I did Uber all right, but again, I've been using, well, I've, I haven't used, I've just drove it around a bit. But yeah, all the seats are clean, as you can tell. Most of the mold's gone. But overall, she's ready for the new owner. Um, I wanted to do more of a before and after video and feature what I've done, but to be fair, Apart from putting the battery on and giving her a clean, there's not, not much else to do. She's a bloody good car. Kind of boring really because it's like, you want cars like this, like the Nova. Um, I've got loads of new parts for the Nova, but that's, that's for another time. So for the Astra, it's basically done. So I hope you like the, uh, this Astra build. Well, I say build bit of polish new battery and that's it so yeah all it cost was a new battery and uh that's it so thanks for watching from me stokes enough love enough respect stokes out peace hello and welcome so hello and welcome not like that type of music um so oh god i finally get to i finally get on my mission i'm going for a drive obviously you know trying to find some locations whatever 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 you know you know the story um and i press record on my camera and i realized i got no sd card in there i forgot to bring my sd card god so i had to go and buy a new one um and i looked online on the old phone to see how much they are in curries come on doris move so how much they are in curries and in curries they are they are on the website um 20 something pound i'm thinking well that's not too bad is it really get to curries and it's 30 something pound how much was it oh shit car behind me 32 pound 99 pence i'm like freaking heck it's a bit dear isn't it so we are going to look at a car that I've known about for, let me think now, 20, 20 years? 20 years? 20 years? I'm in the wrong freaking lane. Great, now I'll go round the roundabout. Um, it's been there. I actually thought that this car disappeared years ago. Years ago. But no, it's still there, apparently, sat. Rotting the f into the ground. So we're heading towards where this car is then. Oh, I think we're on the wrong path to be there. Mm -hmm. We're on the wrong bit.
Okay, still here. See that? Look. Still here. RS Turbo. He looks like a bit of a hoard if you ask me. Or Escort RS Turbo. Sat dead. It's got a massive exhaust on it. Apparently the gauge is quite aggressive. Damn shame. So we looked at the uh, the um RS Turbo. I'll go with my number. I'll go with my number, so it's all I can really do. The thing is, if they turn around and say, they turn around and say, yeah, it's for sale, uh, we can have it, the price is not going to be cheap. So, what the lady told me is it had a I'm not from around here now you go down there I do I used to live around here but you go down there and it goes to a pub oh, it's really yeah it's a bit tight though okay. it had engine problems the bloke took it off the road um, and He's never bothered fixing it ever since. So it's sat there 20 years with not a... Not a... Um, where are you going to fit me there? Fucking hell. With not a... Um, Spanner being touched put on it. And every person that's gone there to ask for sale has always been not for sale, so. So we've just pulled up outside the house. That looks surprisingly empty. With three abandoned cars. Well, I hate the word abandoned, but three cars that look. Lord, they're not used. Let's go have a look. Spooky. Clearly there's been a car here. Hello? Hello? Protected by ring surveillance. Let's ring the surveillance. Oh, 
water in there, so the camera ain't going to work very well. <sighs> it's a weird one this is. The most looking after here. Yeah? Volvo don't look too bad, really. Doesn't look too shoddy, shoddy, uh, shoddy. And then you got the uh, Rover. I think um, I think someone still lives here because the driveway is used, and I think the old boy's probably out doing a bit of shopping. So we might come back here and see if any of these cars are for sale. I mean, there's not much you could do with the uh, Rover, but it might clean it well. I don't know. And then the uh, this um, Volvo here looks quite good still. So yeah, we we put a pin in this one. We'll come back to it. So I might, you know, I'd quite fancy the Astra to be fair. Like I say, I put a pin in it, and we'll be back another day. So let's go find another location. So we just quickly pulled up and jumped the hedge, jumped the fence to try and get to this uh, location. I'm just checking, seeing where he's coming at the house. Can't see it, but um, I've drove I've drove past it quite a few times, but I couldn't figure a way in so what i just done as i parked up and then jumped over the hedge so you've got an m3 there but these are cars that you've got a brand new range rover over there too so this is a forecourt but it doesn't look like it's used, that's the thing. We're not over anyway, but I don't like it. I mean, this whole thing's been here a long time. It's a Zephyr, isn't it? Ford Zephyr. Look at the grass underneath it. I think this may be a business that's been started and abandoned, I don't know. But look at that for a Ford Zephyr. Well, that's sat there like that. I do not know. Look at that front end. Classic Ford. Absolutely mental. There's, there are other cars here, but uh, they're not even worth looking at. Uh, the M3 is good, but I'm not even going near those cars. They're two private cars, you know what I mean? And then we've got an old Granada. I uh, noticed that looks. The grill missing, well, oh, the top of the uh, thingy missing. But further down here, I mean, some of these cars are too good to even be on the camera, to be fair, because they look too, you know. <clears throat> but this here, BMW E36, they've uh, been sat here for a while. This is how I see these cars, I've always seen this here. I've drove past and spotted this. And then as I get up, I see the uh, Range Rover and I just assume it's a forecourt, so I just don't even bother. But this time I thought, F I'm gonna look. So this here. What not EE. This is definitely open, told you. Thirty-eight thousand miles. So yeah, basically, what happened? What the story is? As you do, pretend like I'm driving Mercedes now. There's a steering wheel thing. Anyway, so basically, I drive past this on the way to the motorway. Quite, oh, can I get out? <laughs> I thought I couldn't get out then. 
So I drive past this on the way to the motorway and I always see this car and I think, well, I'll, I'll stop, but I never do. I'll go straight past it and I come whooping straight back down. So it looks, this, is, this was a car salesman or car sales area. That's just gone downhill, but they've still got some really expensive cars on here, which kind of shocked me really. So I'm just like wondering what it, it seems a bit dodgy as well because I thought I'd show you them getting into trouble in the process as you do, you know, you know me. Um, but yeah, we're sat in a uh, Mercedes 180. Did I say 180? 190, sorry. Shit, there's a car pulled up. Let's make a move. So we're coming to another little area that I found. And I've got the wrong side of the fucking road. But, um, this is a really weird one again. Um, kind of like weird, weird at the word, but I'll show you. So we have an abandoned house with a Aston Martin Vantage just parked on the side of the road. I parked on someone's garden, I'll show you. Aston Martin Vantage. Oh, she's open, fucking hell. Wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting it to be open, but yeah, there you go. Aston Martin, Aston Martin Vantage, just rotten. What I don't understand with this is like, they've got a wheel lock on the front end. And the house is all boarded up. So two wheel locks in the front. To have an Aston Martin sat like this just blows your mind. 2013 was the last time it was on the road. Absolutely crazy. I've driven past this a few times. I thought it was a Jag. I didn't even realise it was an Aston Martin. <laughs> Aston Martin V12. No way. Look at the brambles going across the bonnet. Jesus Christ. So we have no clue why this is like this. Um, I don't know. I have no clue why there's Aston Martins here. Obviously, a lot of people know about it because it's not exactly hidden. How's it going? Everybody's coming out of the woodwork now to see what I'm doing. So yeah, there sits an Aston Martin Vantage. And loads of money. Then you got this here, and then this here. I don't know what the history with, with the building is, to be fair. But it's quite, kind of sad, really. Someone's tried breaking in. Got this big hard day home here. It's a, bit, it's a really weird one, isn't it? What do you think? I just don't understand why why the Aston Martin sat here dead. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. This side open too? No. See it's left open which is weird. I don't understand that. I don't understand why it's open. Got some Oakleys in there. All well, the door line has been ripped off this side. Literally ripped off. The old dice. I don't know what the door card has been tore off for. But wow, this thing is nasty. Proper nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. So. Never recorded off the dash of uh, Aston Martin before, so I'm gonna take the op this opportunity to do it. It's kind of crazy what you find. Uh, they're out there still. They're all out there still. Aston Martin, Vantage, Satya. Some mud, some dirt too, so it's not gonna last long. I'd love to know the history of it, but I don't know. I might ask some locals in a minute of the history of it, but a lot of people don't like talking, do they? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go and find some other locations. I don't think we're gonna top an Aston Martin today, but we'll still have a blast and see what we can see. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, see you in a minute. 
40, 50 years. Wow. Again, I don't think we identified that. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Shouldn't be there, but every single car we ever come across, it shouldn't be there. Wow. What's that doing here? 